How to make sure electronics are rollhouse compliant in every country? First of all, we need to find out what are the impact in markets. Then we need to understand the rollhouse differences from one country to another. Let's do it. Electronic products must be rollhouse compliant worldwide. Restrictions of hazardous substances rollhouse apply to electrical and electronic products. The European Union launched the first rollhouse directive in 2002. Since then, rollhouse regulations have been evolving and are impacting a growing number of jurisdictions. Here are some examples. The European Union, China, the UK, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Oman, the Eurasian Economic Union with Russia, Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan and Kyrgyzstan, Ukraine, India, Turkey, California, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, Japan with JMOS and Vietnam. How to ensure products are Rojas compliant? Here are six takeaways when you monitor the Rojas obligations of your products. 1. Verify the Rojas scope. First, the scope of covered products varies from one jurisdiction to another. For instance, the European Union has the broadest Rojas scope. For example, most industrial and monitoring and control instruments must be Rojas compliant in the EU. In contrast, Japan JMOS focuses on consumer products. Consequently, producers must confirm whether their manufactured products fall in the different Rojas scopes. 2. Monitor the covered restricted hazardous substances. Secondly, the basic restricted substance categories under Rojas are the six following ones. These four heavy metals and their compounds, lead, cadmium, mercury, hexavalent, chromium, and two brominated families, polybrominated biphenyl, polybrominated diphenyl ethers. Additionally, some of the most influential markets also restrict these four phthalates in many product categories, BBP, DBP, DHP, and DIBP. Generally speaking, the accepted thresholds are 0.1% for all of the above substances, barring cadmium at 0.01% at the homogeneous material level. 3. Assess your products against Rojas, with analytical testing or documentary reviews. In essence, a Rojas assessment can follow two assessment approaches that complement each other. One, the analytical testing consists in physically testing samples against the Rojas substances. The IEC 62321 standards give testing guidelines. Two, the documentary review consists in auditing the Rojas documentation from the supply chain. The IEC 63000 standard shows how to do risk assessment and build a technical file. Leading markets like the European Union recommend standard IEC 63000 for complex products. However, other jurisdictions like the United Arab Emirates also authorize analytical testing under certain conditions. 4. Self-declarations or approval from a certified body. Manufacturers and importers of electrical and electronic equipment must either self-declare the Rojas compliance of their products. For example, this is the case in the European Union, China or Vietnam. Or submit their Rojas technical files to an accredited certification body. Russia, the United Arab Emirates or Taiwan require approval from such recognized organizations. 5. Register the Rojas compliant products in a national agency. Some countries, such as Turkey, also require producers to issue their Rojas Declarations of Conformity DOC, to governmental agencies. 6. Mark your devices with the appropriate Rojas compliance logos. Various logos encompass the Rojas requirements. Some examples of these might be the C marking in the European Union, the IFAP logos in China, the UKCA stamp in the United Kingdom, the Taiwanese inspection mark or the Ukraine compliance symbol. Other markets don't have any official Rojas marking at all. In short, new restricted substances or new exemptions regularly amend Rojas regulations. Every year, more markets adopt Rojas regulations. Subscribe to the Envaropass YouTube channel, follow us on LinkedIn and subscribe to our free newsletter to keep abreast on the Rojas news.